Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you some clever ideas on how you can transform simple items from the thrift store into elegant pieces. I also have a very exciting project coming next week, so make sure to subscribe. Well, now that that has been said, let's get started. Some of the items that I created in this video I will not be using. They are one-of-a-kind pieces that I transformed so it felt like a shame to toss them. That is why I decided to list them in my online boutique, I'll leave the link down below in case you're interested. The first step is to prepare the paint. I mixed gold and silver to create this beautiful brass color. The first project is how to transform candlesticks into functional lamps. Using the brass color, I painted the candlestick making sure to cover all the apertures of the design. I also mix a little black with the brass to create a darker shade and I accented the curvatures of the design. I always recommend doing so to add a more dimension to the object. I bought a set of three candlesticks and in this project I only used two, the tallest and the shortest one. I also painted the tallest one and I left them to dry. I also bought these crystals to accent the candlesticks. The one that I'm using are real crystals. I'll leave the link for them down below in case you're interested. I will be transforming these sconces later on this video, but for now I only want to use the glass covers for this current project. I bought these battery-operated fairy lights and I fed them to the light bulb cover. Once all the fairy lights were inserted, I just placed the globe cover on top of the candlestick. Once turned on, these are the final results. I am very happy on how this turned out. If you want to make them a more permanent lamp, you can also use fairy lights that connect to an outlet switch. These can be connected to a switch and they also are remote control operated. I will leave the link for them down below in case you're interested. The next project is transforming this candle wall sconce. First, I dismantle the sconce and I detach the mirror. After using the same brass color, I painted it diligently. I also added a darker color to the curvatures to create shadows in the design. I do not show this on this video, but once all the pieces were painted, I added a coat of paint sealer to prevent the paint from chipping away. I highly recommend doing this step to guarantee the longevity of your work. Once painted, give it time to dry. Moving on to the next step, I wanted to add glitter candles to the sconces. To make them, simply add a coat of Mod Podge to the candle and then sprinkle glitter. I love doing this to the candles, it's the perfect pop of shimmer. Just be aware that they are decorative only. The Mod Podge is highly inflammable, so please keep that in mind. After I attached some flowers and I also added some crystals, and once everything was in place, these are the results. The next project is how to create a unique perfume stand using a corner wall shelf. I picked this wall shelf because of its beautiful baroque design. First, using a pen, I marked on the top portion of the shelf three symmetrical dots. After I used my drill to initiate the holes. I then added three eye hooks. After I took the remaining candlestick from the set and I added glue and I attached the shelf to it upside down. After I added some crystals to the eye hooks I previously installed and these are the results. I absolutely love the shape of this design, it became such a unique piece, I've never seen anything like it before. Going back to the wall scones, the first step for this project is to transform flowers, you'll understand why later on. I usually spray paint my flowers, but this time I decided to hand paint them. To achieve the same pink as me, you want to mix a little bit of pink into a larger portion of white. After, add some gold for warmth and finally add a little bluish gray to give it a more lavender undertone. First, you want to dismantle the flower and then you want to paint each petal. I mix pink with a little bit of black and I placed it mostly on the center of the flower for added depth. Once dry, just reassemble the flower to its original shape. I also decided to add a pop of shimmer to it so it would reflect the light beautifully. I sprayed adhesive glue and then I gently sprinkled glitter. I ended up transforming roses and lilies. 
after I picked this flower vase and I added the lily, fairy lights, and the roses, and I accommodated them until I was happy in how they looked. Going back to the sconces, you want to fold the hot wires from the back, you do not need to cut them in case you do decide to hot wire them in the future. Once everything is in place, I just added the flower vase on top of the sconce and these are the results. I am beyond happy. This is perfect if you want a functional sconce but you cannot hot wire it to the wall. You can also buy fairy lights that are battery operated and have a remote control. I'll link them down below in case you're interested. I will be using these in my closet transformation. I'm planning on painting the walls. If it turns out anything like I have envisioned, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Really quick, don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel. I'll leave these links down below. Also visit my online boutique and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay in touch. Well, now that that has been said once again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I wish you a very blessed day and...